Today we're in a um, Valencia orange orchard here in Southern California harvesting predator snails. Uh, the predator snails which is Rumina decolata originated in Africa and uh, through a series of migrations I'm sure uh, facilitated by people made their way to uh, Europe and then over to the United States landing in the United States and the uh, Carolinas in approximately 1850. Well, since time <clears throat> about the 1960s they were found here in California and um, actually found over the hill from us over in Ojai and uh, these predator snails had uh, eaten up all the uh, eggs and the young of the European brown snails which terrorize our gardens uh, there's a history of uh, decolates having fed on uh, snails throughout the southeast and communities in New Orleans and Texas and finally apparently making their way out to California. They also love to feed on decaying organic matter, which is the reason for all these laced out citrus leaves. So they'll eat out the interiors of the leaves, leaving just the skeleton structure of the leaves. They like decaying oranges as a citrus harvest truck goes by. They eat just about anything that's rotten and disgusting. And here's about as rotten and disgusting an orange as you're going to see. And uh, they're just happily feeding away on it. They uh, burrow into the soil when it starts drying out to protect themselves from themselves drying out. And when they, bur when they go looking for the brown snail eggs, they uh, burrow into the soil and extract the eggs. Brown snails will lay huge clusters of their eggs and uh, the decklets love to feast on them and the smaller brown snails. They don't go attacking the large snails. Well, they could, but the large snails just roll them right off. So you get the benefits of a uh, kind of an earthworm of sorts. Again, decklets in here, getting ready to decompose this orange. And uh, the finished poop or soils that they uh, make Really very nice, healthy uh, topsoil. Over here we're harvesting some, and you see this really rich material left over from the decomposing of the leaves and the fruit. It's very, uh, very strong in nutrients. We have to harvest up the rocks and the pebbles and the uh, old died off snails. They only live for about two years and they reproduce fairly consistently. And then we clean them and ship your product. Well, over here in the sunlight, they don't like the sunlight that much. Actually, they don't like it at all. These little guys are getting ready to retire for the morning. Go hide themselves underneath some leaves. They have that little ice cream cone shape. Kind of like a, a sea, sh sea snail shape. Anyways, the first in several uh, snail documentaries. Again, excellent predator for brown snails and some types of slugs. Many people say that they've seen a reduction in slug populations in their garden. I know they don't eat the slugs, but they probably have no problem eating the slug eggs. Now, if you're in the western or southeast United States, you've got a snail problem in a uh, ground cover uh, planter bed, this is the way to go. These are not for your snapdragon color bed. This is mid to long term snail control for your landscape. This is not for your vegetable garden. A little guy right there. I 
Again, Chris from GrowQuest, GrowQuest.com, G-R-O-W-Q-U-E-S-T, GrowQuest.net.